Welcome to County Report This Week. I'm Sonia Burke. Thank you for joining us. Coming up in the next half hour, Montgomery County Council members recognize six residents at a special ceremony commemorating Black History Month. And later, we'll celebrate the Chinese New Year with some residents in Gaithersburg. But first, the Council's Planning, Housing, and Economic Development Committee recently held some work sessions to improve the county's development review process. And as Susan Kennedy reports, the goal for Council members is also to help boost economic development here in the county. It's no secret getting through the development review process here in Montgomery County can be tricky. But members of the Council's Planning, Housing and Economic Development Committee are working on several proposals to streamline that process in the hopes of saving applicants time and money. So what we want to do is really address fundamentally the whole development process and make it efficient. You know, without compromising the voice of our residents, but looking at the government processes and how well those are being managed. One of the proposed bills would improve the speed and process of approving record plats. And the other measure stems from recommendations from the county's Department of Permitting Services and the Planning Department that also involve changes to the record plat review process. Though technical in nature, council members say these bills will streamline the process, eliminate duplication, and make Montgomery County an easier place to do business. Uh, and also to make it the rules clearer. Uh, whichever side of a, of a matter you're on, it's, it's often a mystery. The hope is, you know, we will begin to kind of improve our image in terms of, you know, people who want to do good development know that they can get the job done here in Montgomery County. And then when we create these master plans, you know, that call for our community to be built this way or that way, you know, in order to make this a better place to live, we actually are relying on the private sector most of the time to bring that to reality. So we want to have a, a good environment for that to happen. The Fed Committee has also given the nod to the creation of an ombudsman position to work as a facilitator for commercial and residential projects. It's hoped this person will bring about tangible improvements to the process that save both time and money. It's going to require a lot of coordination between agencies and a certain amount of collaboration that we're not used to. And, and frankly, this has been uh, an issue that we've seen over needed uh, to be addressed over the years. Basically what it's going to be is a person inside the county government for really, really big, important projects, you know, to kind of help shepherd them through. In Rockville, I'm Susan Kennedy for County Report This Week.